Yeah, I just want to share a few words on civil disobedience and rebellion. So, something really, really nice to see. I don't know if you can see it behind me. Just a second, I'm taking a video. Hello. Um, so what you can see, the police is putting up uh, protective barriers around this rebellion, this protest. So they're like making things safe for us here. And instead of extinguishing the protest and carrying people away, removing us, giving sanctions and fines, they just make it safe for us to, to be here. And like this is something that to me is, I don't know, a big privilege for sure, something that we must use in the name of others who do not have this privilege. But it's also like something that I think is a really good example set by the people of the place that one species calls Finland to allow civil disobedience to happen, to allow protests and demonstrations to happen because they are for the good of our community. So all these big advancements, what maybe makes Finnish people one of the happiest people in the world apparently, do not come from nothing, they come from accepting and supporting and participating in civil disobedience. So civil disobedience is like a crucial thing to have around when we want to grow as a culture. So I'm like really grateful for this opportunity here and thank also somehow the participation of the uh, fellow humans with the blue uniforms. And I want to encourage everyone to, yeah, take a look at civil disobedience, take a look at the protest and the many possibilities to take part without necessarily um, doing crimes, right? There's so much support stuff that needs to happen in the background um, or, I don't know, foundation work basically. And like just especially this, uh, the movement, Extinction Rebellion is a movement with excellent, most tremendous efforts to create a regenerative culture. There's no hierarchy and things can happen because they happen for the same reason. There's the same destination, the same direction, and that is the well-being of life in all its diversity. Obviously, what else could it be? What else should it be? And I hope that it's just maybe a matter of, of days, who knows, that this is something that we turn into a global, um, a global feeling right the global feeling of longing belonging being one on the same planet and being that in a peaceful way we need the world peace as much as we need green and green is needed as much as we need world peace and we only need to want this and live towards it and make these values our big why behind which we can be very happy without consumption, behind which we can be very happy without causing harm, without being unhappy of not having cars or something, right? Just upgrading life to footprint sizes that are sustainable. That means they can be sustained by our planet and by our community. And for that, we need to just invest ourselves and just want the best and go for it. Wish you all a good time. Take care. Bye bye.